OK, so I wanted to talk to you about something that actually doesn't appear in the textbook, but it does crop up in exams sometimes, and it's called the combined mean. It kind of does just follow from common sense, but I wanted to point it out just to make sure that everybody was on the same page. So let's have a look at what I mean by the combined mean. It's about talking about the mean of two different things put together. So here it says that the mean math score of 20 pupils in class A is 62, but the mean math score of 30 pupils in class B is 75. What is the overall mean of all the pupils' marks? In other words, what is the combined mean of all the pupils' marks? So let's just think about what part A actually means. What you need to do here is to think about the sum of all of the values that the average mark, the mean, is going to be the total marks from class A. So there are 20 pupils that got an average of 62. So you actually multiply these together, it's going to be 20 multiplied by 62. And in class B, there are 30 pupils who had an average mark of 75. And you want to divide that by how many pupils there are in total. And in total, there are 50 pupils because of the 20 and the 30. Just think about what's happened then. We're saying we're trying to find out what's the total of their marks from that class. So we multiply them and the total of their marks from that class. So we multiply them. So let's just figure out what this is going to be. We're going to have 20 multiplied by 62 plus 30 multiplied by 75, all divided by 50. So the average is 69.8 marks. Or I should say not marks, I should say score. 69.8 for the score in maths. And then it says for part B of the question that the teacher realises they mismarked one student's paper. He should have received 100 instead of 95. Explain the effect on the mean and the median. So let's think what might happen to this. Because 100 is bigger than the mean of 69.8, this will increase the mean because you're adding on an extra five marks. So somewhere in this denominator, there's going to be an extra, an extra five marks. And I guess I can show you how it will increase. If you add an extra five there, it goes from 69.8 to 69.9. But it isn't going to affect the median because the median doesn't get affected by the values on either end. The median that we'll talk about a little bit more doesn't really get affected by those extreme values. So I'm going to write down that the median will not be affected or affected, excuse me, will not be affected because it um, ignores extreme values. OK, so part B isn't going to be repeated in this question down here, but this part, uh, part A you can do to help you answer this question. So pause the video, see if you can do it. Um, there's no questions in the textbook about this one. So just have a go at this question and see if you've understood it. So it says Archer the Archer competes in a competition with 50 rounds. He scored an average of 35 points in the first 10 rounds and an average of 25 in the remaining mount, uh, in the remaining rounds. What was his average score per round? So I think they're going to be talking about a mean average that we have here. So in the first 10 rounds, he got an average of 35, meaning 35 per, um, per round. And in the last 40 rounds, he got an average of 25. And we're going to divide that by the number of rounds that he did, which is 50. So we're going to do 10 times 35 plus 40 times 25, all divided by 50. So his average was 27 uh, points. And that's what we mean by the combined mean.